you know, family offices invest across all asset classes. They are opportunistic. The one beauty of it is they are long-term investors. They don't need the money. The money is enough to run multi-generational. The big concern always is what is my, how do I preserve my capital? No family office wants to lose money. That's the first criteria. By doing this investment, will I lose money? Right. So there's always a core set of investments in the portfolio that ensure that safety and security of the family comes first. Because they've spent 50 years building this money, they really don't want to go back to start. So that's the first psychological uh, thought, right? So let's just say it's 100 rupees. So typically you will, you will see that 50, 50 rupees is either mixed in gold, uh, commodities, real estate, uh, debt instruments. You will see that that is always anchored. Some people may have that going all the way to 80%. But you will see at least about 40-50% as an anchor that even if you know hell breaks loose, you know 50% of your wealth is safe, right? Hmm. Then you will find people you know who do more public equities where you know on average you're looking at a 12 to 14 percent return over long periods. Then you'll find another layer which says about 10 percent into alternatives. Today, with the next gen members coming back from the US having global exposure, there's a big interest in doing angel investing, direct investing, right? And we've seen a lot of success stories in the last three mm. years in India where family offices have invested and made a hundred X on one trade, right? And that's the that's what's exciting the next generation. A lot of them are, have done worked across at Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley. They come with a lot of great uh, knowledge. They have money and they're ready to invest. So we're seeing the next gen guys in the family taking that 10% and you know expanding that. Hmm. Some themselves, they collaborate a lot. They work with other family offices to do investments. Uh, and they like to do stuff that's green energy, climate tech, right? Venture. Um, the new thing is uh, direct to consumer, right? Um, so I think gold also has a place in, in that equation. And now we're seeing even crypto showing up, of course. Crypto has regulations. And so everybody has been, I would say it's, it, people are looking at it, but not really going deep, right? They can't, hmm. they want to stay on the right side of the law.